Copper sulfate test is a chemical test carried out to find the presence of iron, Fe, in stainless steel by visual verification. The test works on the principle of oxidation reduction chemical reaction that causes the dissolved copper ions to settle or stick to the iron present on the surface. Copper sulfate solution is applied by swabbing or brushing to the surface of interest and if any iron particles are present on the surface they will react with the solution and change to brownish color. This highly sensitive technique is advised for the presence of iron or iron oxide on the surface of austenitic 200 series and 300 series, duplex stainless steel, the precipitation hardening alloys, and the ferritic 400 series stainless steel containing 16% chromium or higher. The test is not advised for the martensitic stainless steel and low chromium ferritic stainless steels of the 400 types since the test may show A plus B reaction on these materials. Copper sulfate standard The copper sulfate test is defined in the ASTM at 380, ISO 15730 standard and MIL STD 753. U.S. Military Standard Materials for Copper Sulfate Test Copper Sulfate Test is used for the following materials, SS200 Series, S300 Series Duplex Stainless Steel Precipitation Hardening Alloys for an stainless steel, 400 Series having more than 16% chromium during welding of stainless steel components, iron particles can stick to the stainless steel parts and could be the initiation point for corrosion, here a copper sulfate test can be used that no iron, fe is available on the stainless steel surface. Or when a carbon steel component is cladded with stainless steel or inconel alloy and to verify it is free from iron, a copper sulfate test can be used. Preparing the copper sulfate solution The test solution is prepared by first adding sulfuric acid to distilled water and then dissolving copper sulfate in the following proportion. Distilled water, 250 ml 95 100% sulfuric acid, H2SO4, 1 ml copper sulfate pentahydrate, QSO45H2O, 4 grams copper sulfate test procedure, steps for copper sulfate test copper sulfate test procedure is used to detect presence of free iron on material surface. The main steps for copper sulfate test procedure are, prepare the test solution and mix the chemicals with water in quantity given above. Let it to mix for 4 to 6 minutes. Never use solution which is prepared more than 2 weeks before. Apply the test solution to the surface to be inspected by swabbing or brushing. Apply additional solution if needed to keep the surface wet during the test duration for 6 minutes. Rinse the surface fully and take care not to disturb copper deposit if any till the part is completely dried. Perform the visual inspection for the presence of any copper deposit on the area of test. Any copper deposit indicates the presence of free iron. Test results interpretation The copper sulfate test is a qualitative test method. The results are interpreted as pass or fail by visual inspection without the aid of any other inspection tool. The test principle uses the oxidation by chemical reaction of iron particles if any presence and turning them into copper color as visible in the below picture. The test will not tell how much iron is present on the surface but gives an indication in a qualitative manner that iron is certainly presented on the surface being tested. Copper sulfate test for passivation parts Copper sulfate test for passivation parts is carried out by applying the copper sulfate solution as described above steps for copper sulfate test. ASTM copper sulfate test is specified in ASTM 380 standard. Copper sulfate test for clad material removal inspection Copper sulfate test is also used for the repair of clad and weld overlay applications to ensure the full removal of the clad layer before the start of welding on the carbon steel material. For clad restoration or clad removal due to wrong welding clad filler, after the removal of clad, the area shall be etched by nitric acid or copper sulfate solution to confirm the removal of clad material. Before the back cladding butt joints, apply the right precautions to avoid cross-contaminating the cladding and backing material weld metal. The location of weld cladding will not be visible after grinding but etching the area with copper sulfate solution or nitric acid is useful to confirm the weld location and base material. Related reading, what is passivation and pickling process? Copper sulfate test is used to determine whether a metal has been properly passivated. The test can be used as a quality test to decide if further passivation is required or not. Copper sulfate test for passivation check for the presence of free iron on the material surface. The test is carried out at the ambient temperature conditions. Apply the copper sulfate solution on the material surface for approximate 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, rinse and dry the part completely carefully. If any copper deposit present, it can be noticed visually. 
The presence of pinkish slash brown color shows that free iron is still on the material surface and it require further passivation. The test is acceptable if there is no copper deposit is present. Effect of alloying element in steel effect of alloying element in steel.